Hey guys, welcome back to Kiwi Classics and Customs. We've been getting quite a bit of inquiry just recently about disc brakes, disc brake conversions. Uh, this is one we've just done. We've got another one outside waiting for a disc brake conversion. And there's, to me, a certain amount of misinformation there about out there about, you know, why is a disc brake better? You know, why is a drum brake okay? That kind of thing. So I want to go over that with you. Uh, any of your muscle cars, be it Mustangs, old Camaros, that have got drum brakes on the front, they need to go. Uh, you know, it's 2022, people drive faster, you know, stop, you know, people follow closer. You need some decent brakes, especially if you upgrade the horsepower. That's kind of a no-brainer. Uh, this is a kit that we get for the Mustang. Uh, this is more of uh, a little bit more budget-friendly uh, kit. This whole kit's about 1,500 bucks plus sales tag and a bit of shipping. Um, what it does is give you a nice uh, four piston caliper, uh, which is a copy or a knockoff copy of the original four piston caliper that Ford put on their Mustangs as an option, you know. And it's uh, kind of amuses me that, you know, back in the mid 60s, people weren't sure about these disc brakes, you know, they liked their old drum brakes and not sure about these newfangled disc brakes. Now, your little tiny Ford Fiestas have disc brakes all around. Uh, yeah, so that kind of puts a smile on my face. But anyway, yeah, you really do need to upgrade to discs. Um, you know, drums will get you stopped. Um, but, you know, like if two or three repeated heavy uses and you're going to lose, they're going to fade away. Um, so it depends a little bit how you drive. The drum brakes will get you stopped. You know, you can lock the wheels up with drum brakes. They will slow you down. Uh, the disc brakes are just better. Uh, the other thing we do on this as part of this kit is an upgrade on the uh, master cylinder. We go to a dual bowl master cylinder with a power booster or a vacuum booster. Uh, and that really starts to get it stopping more like a modern day car. Um, you know, like you need to be armed with a similar equipment to what everyone else is driving around you in their, you know, later model stuff. You know, the two, 2015 Pontiac or whatever it is. So yeah, this is a great upgrade. Um, now moving to the back, this is a four-wheel disc brake setup, and this is where a lot of the, the arguments come in, for my, in my opinion. Do you need disc brake rear? Not really. The rear brakes do about 20% of the work, maybe 25, depending on the car. So the drum brakes are going to get it done for you on the back. You can just upgrade. It obviously saves you a chunk of money. Um, you can just upgrade to a decent set of discs on the front and a power booster and you can leave drums on the back. A lot of times uh, people want to say they've ha they have four-wheel disc brakes. It, you know, it sounds pretty cool. Uh, but it's not an absolute necessity. If your budget's stretched, just do discs on the front. Your drums on the back will get it done. They will stop you. Um, you know, if you want to track the car, you know, go down to Road Atlanta and run some hot laps. Uh, you're going to need discs all around. So, yeah, this is these are vented rotors, front and back. Um, this is a single piston caliper on the back. It's a generic kind of OE uh, caliper with an e-brake built into it that I'm pretty sure is a GM caliper, like an 80s Camaro, something a lot around that vintage. So, but, yeah, perfectly capable caliper. Um, you know, this will have this old girl. I mean, they're 2,800 pounds. They're not heavy. It'll, that'll have this old girl stopping pretty darn good. Now, if you want to spend a bit more money, you want to look a bit prettier, come over to this car we've got here. So this is the Barbera Mustang, Barbera Red Mustang we've been working on. You guys would have seen that most likely in earlier videos. This is getting the full Monty Woolwood setup. Uh, four piston calipers front and rear. You know, we've got, you know, the, the, the trademark Woolwood on there. It looks cool. Uh, Cross-drilled rotors, slotted rotors. Um, this one's going to Aussie, so it's actually got extra little dust seals as well that they have to have for the Australian market. Uh, and this has got, like, a bigger version, slightly bigger version of this on the front. Uh, this thing's going to stop on a dime. Uh, these are great. You know, I'm a big fan of the Woolwoods. We do sell a lot of them. Um... They're more expensive, you know, like, and there's a reason for that. It's better, you know, it's going to get you stopped quicker. Um, you're probably, for the full kit front and back and all that, you're probably around double the price of the kit we just showed you. So, um, but if you've got big wheels, you know, like 17-inch wheels, 
you know, they've got nice big windows in them. You're going to see all this stuff. So, like any part of a hot rod, like you're really doing it for looks, for show. Uh, if we're honest with ourselves, that's what a lot of our hot rods are for. We like to drive them, we like people to look at them, we like people to admire them. So that kind of thing does look cool. And you know, if you're if you're an aggressive driver, if you like to brake late, you know, take it take your car to the tail of the dragon or some nice winding country back road, you know, those are great to have under your foot when you're slowing down. So that's really the difference. You can get away with a lot less um, with a you know just a front disc brake upgrade, or you can go the whole way and do it, you know, basically a competition brake setup. So that's your options. Um, we're bringing in another fastback uh, probably next week or the week after which is getting the um, same brake kit as the green car we were looking at at the beginning of the video we're going to go through that with you step by step and actually do it more of a how-to video on that one so that if you guys want to pick a setup you should be able to do it yourselves but hey it's late friday we're getting out of here you guys have a good weekend we'll see you on the next one